Salvia officinalis, or common sage, is a native to the Mediterranean, but like most useful plants, it has been spread across the earth, with its binomial name referring to its historically renowned medicinal use. Common sage has many different cultivars, like most mints, and flowers late spring or summer. It is used in a myriad of culinary recipes, medicinal applications, and religious rituals. Here you can see the five sepals separate from the labiate flower, with the topmost specimen showing the sepals bent inward after the flower has been fertilized. Note that the flowers are quite small and require very small pollinators to reach the nectar by passing the tube-like style and stamens. Common sage has fine hairs called cilia, with an elongated linear leaf structure of which there are many small veins visible on the underside of the leaf. The edges are denticulate with small tooth-like bumps. The sage plant in my garden can offer a good representation of what a sage plant out in the wild might look like from the bottoms or tops of the leaves to their coloration and the edges. For a better visual, the labiate landing pad of a sage flower next to some dried sepals on the neighboring stem. Some of the more noteworthy natural compounds in common sage include alpha thujone eucalyptol, borneol, niacin, and oleic acid. Speaking of which, eucalyptol is a known attractant to small insects called orchid bees, which are tiny enough to acquire the nectar at the base of the sage flower. Eucalyptol is partly responsible for the aroma of many herbs, including salvia officinalis, and is a major constituent in its essential oil. I will be developing more comprehensive videos, examining at the very least six mints. Bee balm, Monarda genus. Lemon balm, Melissa officinalis. Peppermint, Mentha piperita, which is a hybrid offspring of spearmint. Mentha spicata, along with Rosemarinus officinalis, and of course the mint you've already examined today, Salvia officinalis, common sage. I appreciate your interest in these fine plants, and I hope that you will find this and other series like it educational and interesting.